what is up you guys welcome back uh to the channel we've got a, another car video here for you guys oh man just took a shower so i'm a little red sorry about that so today we are going to be talking about my uh 2003 infinity i35 first off i'm going to show you guys just all the all the buttons <laughs> and all where everything is because with these older cars sometimes that's why you're watching the video let's get into it boom there she is um so the story behind this car is uh, i saw it on facebook one night for 500 bucks uh, or best offer so when i went and saw the car it was, you know, obviously very clean on the inside. My cat jumped in there while it had litter on its feet. So I got to clean that up. But, um, you know, just very, very well taken care of. Like pretty good tires. There's, I can get my tool and show you. But then there was the negatives. You know, there was um, this dent there. You know, someone obviously used the trunk for loading and unloading stuff and put stuff on top of it. Um, the guys at the local BMW dealership, they offered to uh, buff it for me, uh, complimentary. And you know, I just, I just kinda didn't, I didn't wanna burden them. And I, I used to manage that dealership. So I was just very, I didn't wanna, I just didn't wanna do it. Um, so yeah, some of the weird things. So if you're on this video because you need to find the gas cap reliefs, it is on the driver's side door. Right there. Zoom out. It's really easy to look over. So it's right here. Um, let's hop in so I don't lock my keys in here. I know the security system is set. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to lock myself out. I mean, I have another set of keys inside, but... So yeah, 179, if I can get some 032, um, I've put about, I've put about a thousand miles on the car, just trying to, um, just trying to get it up and running. So yeah, uh, 03, it's 2001, uh, 18 years old, almost 19 years old. Um, and yeah, just a, a car I really enjoy driving. Um, it reminds me of a Toyota Avalon, uh, just the way it's really heavy on the road, it's planted, it's secure. Um, it is not a race car. This is definitely a luxury car. It is just um, firm, planted, smooth, and quiet. Um, it is a really cool car. I am actually selling it. It's got a blue book of 4,500, uh, but I'm selling it for 35 just because um, I want it to sell and I, I don't want to be like super crazy, um, you know, car market guy. So that's that. I'm going to go get the camera mount out of the other car and then we'll do a quick um, drive around the neighborhood and yeah, um, let's see. I don't think there's much else to go over. Um, the back seats there, they do fold down and allow access into the trunk. Um, there's automatic seating. It's just a... Uh, you know, little things. So I just wanted to make this video because A, I know people are gonna watch this to find out where that gas cap and trunk release are. Uh, secondly, being an old car, this has a stomp brake. Boom. Um, I don't know what else to say besides that. You know, these old cars are pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just going to go get my camera mount and uh, we'll go from there. All right, there we are. Little crooked. You're mounted up there to the windshield. 
And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take this car out for a quick drive around the neighborhood. And um, yeah, like I said, I just, I love this car. I love everything about it. I really am going to miss it. Let's make sure I don't hit the Honda. So the Honda needs a carburetor uh, for a D13 1987 engine, which are kind of hard to find. Ooh, man. Like someone's hit my, uh, my Dodge with a bike or something. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can fix this. No, it's going to be like that. Um, such a heavy car. It is just, uh, you know, it's, there's not a whole lot of get up and go. Everything about this car is just smooth and, um, it is extremely heavy and planted on the ground. Uh, so, you know, it's not a car that I want to go and do donuts in. I mean, I'm not a donut person anyways. I'm really more of an on-ramp acceleration type of guy. Um, I, I like zero to 60, zero to hundred. Those are my type of things. Um, so, you know, when I drive this car, I'm really just focusing on comfort and just enjoying the ride. Um, one thing that I would do if I was going to drive this car uh, any any distance, I would definitely get one of those tape deck, um, you know, extension cords that you can plug into your phone because the car, you know, it's got the Bose sound system, you've got radio, but that's not enough anymore. You need more than just radio these days. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go. Let's go hit Trinidad. Let's go up to Trinidad. I just put gas in the car yesterday. Um, and I really want to start another YouTube channel promoting Humboldt to tourists. So maybe we'll do part of that. Um, so yeah, just, I absolutely love this car mostly because I did so much of the work on this car. Um, and I bought the car for 500 bucks, uh, from a college kid that was just done. He was just done with the car. Um, the engine was shaking. It had an obviously blown motor mount, um, and the radiator was leaking. It was just dumping coolant onto the ground. So the guy, he drove it, I'm sorry, the young guy, he drove it to his local body shop and they gave him a quote, um, of $2,000 and they said it might not even fix it. They wanted to do the motor mount. Whoa, guys pulling over in front of me. Um, you know, they wanted to do the motor mounts and they wanted to do the radiator for two grand. So, um, I bought the car. I called a friend of mine that works at the local auto zone. Um, his name is Pat. You may have worked with him before. I'm not giving out your real name there, bud, because I don't know how you feel about this. Um, and he looks at all the diet, he looks at the, the stuff on his computer for parts lookup, and he's like, hey, you know what? This is, an, uh, this is an aluminum engine. If this overheats, it can warp. Oh, that's the other great thing. The car drives so straight, I can just take my hands off the wheel. Um, it's got really good alignment. I'm super happy about that. Oh, what a beautiful day. Um, so I call my buddy Pat and he's like, hey, you know, if the car's got a broken radiator, you're going to want to top off the fluids before you drive it because that engine, if it overheats, it can warp. And if it warps, you're going to be out a whole new engine. You're really just going to be stuck in this car. So I decided, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for uh, it to get really cold out and then I'm going to drive the car home right before sunset when I feel like the car has a chance of not overheating. Uh, and yeah, so I head out to the car, I think around 4 or 4.30 just because it was January when I bought it. 
and the car was um, in Arcata, and I live in McKinleyville, so it was only two or three miles, but um, I really, really didn't want to ruin the engine on this car. So I filled it up with coolant, filled up the overflow with coolant, and off I went. Wow, it does accelerate well. I just love the car. I just had to hit this on-ramp. I had a big pileup of cars behind me, and I'm only going 60. So um, I just wanted to let everyone by. And there was a Ford Explorer chomping down on my butt that looked like a cop, so I just wanted to let her by. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I drive the car home. It took about, man, I want to say about five minutes because I would only do about 50, 55 in the car. And um, I get it home. I pop the hood. It all looks good. It's still leaking coolant. The temperature gauge was just going up and up and up. And then I'd hit a flat spot and it would come down. And I was just like, ooh, man, this game is so nerve wracking. Um, it reminded me of when I bought my Honda down in Garberville, and it was overheating. Um, so I've noticed with these older cars, you're probably going to do a radiator. You're probably going to at least do an oil change and some spark plugs. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I would say. I'd say if you're in the market for some of these old cars, 15 years plus, you know, just, just expect you're going to put five, 600 bucks in, uh, in parts in them at least. Uh, typically, I think on average, I put about 1500 bucks into cars uh, that I buy. Um, so yeah, that's that. It's not, uh, it's not cheap to buy cars, but it's what I like to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I've got three minutes left of memory on my phone and I think it's going to cut me off in about a, a minute. I think it keeps a minute or two uh, in reserve. So I'm probably going to end this here or what I might do is flip the camera around so that you guys can see uh, out the windshield because it is absolutely beautiful up here in Humboldt. And um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think people would enjoy this. Uh, this is north of McKinleyville going up towards Trinidad. And it's a beautiful day out. It is absolutely gorgeous. It was raining earlier, uh, but it's been dry for, for about uh, two hours now. Nice old F-150 passing us up. I really like that generation. It's like uh, an 04, 05, I think. Maybe a 96, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. Oh, look at those trees. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, I, I absolutely love living up here in Humboldt. I've lived up in Humboldt um, for about 11 years now. I moved up here when I was 20, 23. I just turned 23 and um, I have absolutely fallen in love with the area. Um, you know, there's things I don't like, um, you know, it's hard to travel out. It's getting easier to travel out of here, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to start a few businesses and real estate's really tough up here. Um, a lot of people would rather grow weed than work, so it's hard to find employees. When I was uh, working at the BMW dealership, it was really tough to find employees. Oh, good, coming up on Trinidad. And yeah, that's, uh, that is gonna be it for the Infinity video. Um, I've had a really good time just driving and talking. I'm probably gonna do this in the other cars. Um, I might even do it in the BMW, I might do it in the X3, just show off some of the cool features of that car. Um, that car I, I bought at auction um, for 29 grand. Um, and then yeah, it took, took about three grand to get it uh, up and running. So, all right you guys, that is it. Have a good one.